Hello and welcome to Marcella's Purse. Today tutorial is on how to make this wallet. It has a magnetic snap there and room for four credit cards, a big slot for your notes, bills, another big slot uh, for extra storage and a zippered uh, pouch for coins and loose change. I used um, a faux suede material as well as cotton fabric. So thank you for being here and I hope you like the tutorial. I have here my pieces of fabric. I have one for the outside and the correspondent piece for the uh, lining. This measure eight and a quarter inches across and seven and a half inches down. So I'm just going to put them on the side for a moment. I have also here uh, two pieces that will be for the uh, zip pocket. And this measures uh, eight and a quarter by seven. Okay, so don't get them mixed up. And I'm just going to put them on the side. I also have here a, a long piece that will be for the um, card holder. I shall talk about it in a moment. Right, I have two pieces here for the tab where we're going to attach the snap, uh, the magnetic snap. And I have a small piece of card here where I made a little pattern, a curved shape here. And this is for uh, the corners. So if I take my main piece of fabric. Oh, what I did with uh, the main fabric, I used some fusible interfacing, the one that is like paper. Uh, and I put two layers of it. I didn't want to put fusible fleece because I didn't really want it to puff here. I just wanted, wanted it to be extra firm. So you can choose a different interfacing if you prefer. But as I said, just two layers of the firm uh, interfacing. And um, I'm, I am going to take my little pattern. What I did was to measure from, from the angle here, from the corner, a quarter of an inch. Uh, yep, <laughs> sorry, a quarter of an inch from the corner towards the inside and a quarter of an inch in this direction and I took this lid and I just uh, drew a pattern there. I didn't want to do it freehand just in case I didn't make it very round. So I'm just going to put it in the corners there and I will trim it. I didn't want a very big curve because I, I didn't want to change the shapes of the pocket too much. It won't make sense uh, at the end when we talk about it a bit more. So I'm marking the corners and I will do the same with the uh, lining. So I'm lining up my little piece of card there so I can now trim to a round shape. And as I said, I will do the same with the lining. I have trimmed the corners, then a rounded shape on all the corners and on the main fabric as well. So now I am going to take uh, the piece which is for the to hold the cards. And this one is the same width as the main fabric, which is eight and a quarter inches wide, but it is 13 inches and three quarters, 13 three quarters inches long. And as you can see, uh, I have already made some folds that I will explain now. We have one, two folds, and this will create an extra long fold at the end. And this is how it's going, it is going to work. If I take the lining fabric, just to demonstrate, and I fold it in half, I'm just pressing with my fingers. This piece cannot be wider than 
uh, halfway through so cannot be any higher than that fold that we have just made so my intention is to have a stitching along here so we have a space for four credit cards one two three and four and this long one to keep your notes your bills okay now um in the way that the way that I determine the the size of the folds is as follows the first fold from the edge up I measured two and a quarter inches and I folded like so towards the back like so now the next fold has to be a little bit shorter because if you see there this is too too wide it will hide my card and I want to see what card it is so the next fold will be from this fold the next fold would be one inch and three quarters so when we fold up this is what we have okay we can see part of the credit card now the next fold again will be two and a quarter and then one and three quarters and then two and a quarter okay I, I will repeat again or if I take it like this two and a quarter one and three quarters two and a quarter one and three quarters two and a quarter and this is it's much longer this is my excess I didn't want to have a raw uh, background I wanted to finish nicely so the last fold I just folded long enough which I think is three and a half inches let me just check uh, three inches and a quarter so once we do all the folds we will see that this edge comes on line with this edge I hope that you can see perhaps I'm talking too much <laughs> okay so when we attach this piece to our main fabric and we stitch it together this is what we will see, we will see a neat seam underneath okay so let's start working right so now that we have this folded I already did some measuring I found the middle point from here to there and I took a ruler and I'm using chalk and I'm going to do a, a right line in the middle and we're going to stitch this in the middle and um, that will uh, create four uh, spaces for our cards okay so that's the first thing to do is stitch along the folds so here is the piece and I am going to take the lining fabric and I'm going to place it on top and I am going to stitch on this side and on this side and at the bottom but quite close to the edge because this is just to keep the piece in place uh, secured in location okay so making sure that all the edges match and I will stitch it okay now if I turn it around I am going to round as well because remember it hasn't been hasn't been rounded <laughs> and now I will take the two pieces I shall put it on the side I will take the two pieces for the zipper for the zipper pocket and um, my zipper is longer I'm actually recycling one that I I had already for a different use so I am going to 
take, remember uh, the width has to be eight and a quarter. This is my main fabric and that's my lining. So I'm taking the zipper with the teeth down and putting it on top of the right side of the fabric and then I'm taking the lining fabric and I'm putting it on top and as we have done many times we shall pin in place or clip in place and with the zipper foot we will stitch along the zipper so we will be sandwiching the zipper um, the zipper is longer as you can see and that's the way I always prefer to work with the zipper and here it is as you can see we're making a pouch, a simple pouch and I could have used uh, a two pieces of each fabric but I don't want to have the extra bulk of extra seams so with these two pieces of fabric we're going to do, to do the whole pouch so now if I turn it like so I am going to make this nice and flat and um, I shall pin it so that I can uh, go back to the sewing machine again and I will top stitch along here just for neatness okay just on top and it is done so now I will open this up like so and I am bringing again the, uh, the right side the teeth of the zipper and I'm putting it again on the edge of the main fabric on top of the right side just like we did before and then I will fold the lining right side down so right side of the fabric teeth of the zipper right side of the lining fabric we will pin in place and we will stitch the zipper again and this is what we got now I am going to put my hand through and I'm going to open the zipper so that I can turn this right side out at this point uh, you, you haven't trimmed your zipper yet but uh, as you see I just had some stitches there from a previous attempt I had so I am going to open this as much as I can I don't want to lose the, the slider and I am going to put this on the sewing machine I shall pin the two pieces of fabric away from the zipper and I will go and do a top stitch as we did on this side I am here now and I did top stitch there so if I close it I shall take the lining fabric again and in the same way we attach this we're going to attach uh, this uh, pouch but uh, just for the fun of it I don't want the zipper to be there I want it to be at the front like so and um, I think that will make it a bit flatter not too much bulk and easier to open and close especially if you're in a rush when you're doing your shopping so I'm just going to move this down a bit about half an inch so can you see what I'm doing instead of having it as we would assume normally like so just slide the fabric nice and straight I am going to the ironing board to make sure this is nice and flat okay it's nice and flat now and I shall place it there I shall either clip it or pin it I am making sure that the sides are matching and at the bottom as well and again we're going to attach it to the lining fabric quite close to the edge as we did there 
I shall move the slider so it's out of the way and um, I will go to the sewing machine and I'll be back to you in a moment and it is attached as I said earlier earlier it's just to just quite close to the edge to keep it in place and um, stitching that we close the zipper there and here so we can trim the excess it is plastic a plastic zipper so I'm not having any problems cutting through and again I'm turning this round and I will follow the round shape there right so now uh, we have to make the flap and I have here the two pieces and I have a set of magnets, magnets magnetic snaps oops sorry my, it's because they're magnetic all my pins are stuck to it so I am going to take one of the pieces so when this is finished this will fold like this and the flap will come like so as you see it's quite wide so I am going to fold this piece one of the pieces in in half just to find the middle point and, and oop, I'll do a line for you to see roughly that's the middle now uh, I will take one of these to show you when we attach the magnet we have to make sure that we have a seam allowance and um, enough room because we have to attach the two pieces together enough room for the foot of the sewing machine to go around okay so I am going to measure uh, from the edge there down one inch down I am looking at my mat here so there so that will be the middle point and um, what I want to do as well is to put these two pieces together like so and um, to do a round shape rather than having it uh, a square at the top I just want to do a round shape so I'm going to fold the fabric there it's rounded now I will confirm that it is nice and neat on both sides and then um, I shall take uh, one of these and from the front I just have a little pair of scissors here so this is the middle point I'll take one of these washes that come with the magnetic snap the hole there is for the middle I'll do a mark for the two slots on the side and we will cut a slit and from the right side we're going to put these two little legs through shall take a washer again put the two little legs there and when we will flatten the, the little legs towards the side there so we have one of the magnets the other one will go here now um, I determine this length by playing a bit with the fabric assuming how long uh, this needs to be because when we're using the wallet 
it is not going to be as flat as it is now so we will have uh, more bulk so this has to be long enough to be able to to close properly okay so I am going to again find the middle point make sure you don't put this uh, the wrong way it has to be landscape remember we will measure find the middle point which is uh, 4 inches and 1 eighth I am using a, a chalk, piece of chalk and then I am measuring measure 1 inch from the edge otherwise it's going to be too much there so I will attach the magnet in the same way I did on the other piece so if I take the washer th there's my point, the mark I did so remember the magnet, uh, the magnetic snap has to be always put through the main side, the right side of the fabric and there it is so now I am going to the sewing machine I am going to put the two right sides of the tab together and I will stitch alongside around the edges I will stitch with my normal seam allowance of a quarter of an inch nice and round and I will leave this opening here so that I can turn it right side out So I am now going to uh, pull it right side out. I turn it inside out, I mean right side out as you can see, and I went to the ironing board and I iron it flat. Now I will go to the sewing machine and I want to do a top stitch for decoration around along here, quite close to the edge, um, making sure that I don't have problems when sewing close to the magnet that I have room enough for the foot of the sewing machine. Our tab is just uh, nice and flat ready to be attached. So if I take this you have to decide then on what side you will want the card slot to be. I want it to be on this side so at this point you could place the two pieces wrong side together and if you wanted you could just um, join them together by using binding tape, binding ribbon so when you turn it around you will have this effect I don't have a color suitable for this project so I'm just going to put do it the traditional way I am going to take the right side of the main fabric and um, I am going to put the right side of the lining so that right sides are together and I am also going to take the tab so the tab because this magnet is here the tab has to be on the other side and we have to put the raw edge touching the raw edge of the main fabric and this would be the raw edge of our lining if uh, I can take a ruler so if I put my ruler there and that's the middle point we know already and a straight line I do a mark that mark is where the middle point of my tab should be so if I'll put this through and we'll pin or 
clip this all this in place making sure that all the edges match but we're going to leave one side open so we're going to leave any of the places uh, size could be but I'm going to choose uh, this part this uh, short edge here to leave it open so that we can turn the whole thing right side out so I am going to start the stitching then again making sure that all the edges match from here all the way around up to here leaving this gap open for my hand to go through and turn it right side out I am now going to do some little trims here in the corner so it's not too bulky and then I am going to turn the whole thing right side out so that was the opening we left so it was big enough for me to put the whole thing right out nicely so giving it a nice shape and um, I will iron this flat again and I am going to fold the, the opening here, the row edges, towards the inside nice and neat as well I have ironed this and I am folding the row edges towards the inside of the opening there and nice and neat so I will go again to the sewing machine and I will top stitch close to the edge all the way around to give it a finishing touch and while I'm doing that obviously that will close the gap as well and I will do it really carefully here when I come to the zipper and all this fold here so I don't lose the shape top stitch is done and the gap has been closed so if I put um, Oop, a card it will fit there and in this one and in this one and in this one and we have room for notes money and of course our pouch for coins or anything else you might want and there we have our wallet I hope you have enjoyed this simple tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for being here and I will see you soon. Bye.